Good morning from Terminal 3 here in Manila. Departing this morning, or later this afternoon actually, for Singapore, for uh, working in Singapore tomorrow, and then homebound to Sydney on Friday morning. So uh, the Silver Chris Lounge here in Terminal 3 for Singapore Airlines has only just reopened, so let's have a quick tour. So quite a spacious lounge for um, the services. They have four flights daily now between Manila and Singapore, so things are getting back to normal. But quite a spacious lounge. Good selection of foods and drinks available. Morning. So you've got um, various wines available along with um, soft drink sodas and some beers you've got um, apple juice calamansi juice which the locals prefer you've got san miguel draft on tap no not actually available and here's the food selection so you've got some hot mini spinach and mushroom quiche apple turnovers rice of course Let's have a look what's in here. Some chicken dish by the looks of it. Chicken in sale. Popcorn. Some sandwiches. Coffee jelly. A little salad bar. Some stir fried vegetables. Mm -hmm. And some breakfast. What is it? Lobster. So actually a good working bench up here to work from. <laughs> so similar lounging style that I've seen in the other airport lounges. The seats are a little bit worn as you'll notice up here. But um, they'll um, get that fixed in time. And uh, here's a quick view over the airport. So you'll notice um, that's Terminal 2, Terminal 1 around there for uh, Philippines Airlines. We're in Terminal 3 at the moment, which is Cebu Pacific plus most of the international flights come in here. I think Qantas still goes into Terminal 1 because they co chair with Philippines. And then um, over in the distance, you'll see um, Terminal 4, which is where I came in the other day when I returned from Karan Palawan. Uh, so that's the domestic terminal for your um, small regional planes. So, there's a Cebu Pacific, looks like an A350. Maybe a Dreamliner being towed. I presume it's a Dreamliner, can't tell. CB is obviously modernising their fleet, as has done a lot of other airlines during the pandemic, to get fuel economy much better. Taking that opportunity to retire some of their older planes.